We're recording. Are you going? Yes, recording now. Okay. Um, I wanted to demonstrate a little bit of what I've learned about the new Tocanti Carper, which is an instrument from uh, Peter Blasser. Um, <clears throat> An interesting thing about this is, it is like the other Tocantes in that it has a fixed scale built in, but you're not limited to this scale uh, after you get going. So basically to turn this on, you touch it. And you have to hold your finger on it, otherwise it turns off. If you plug in a wall wart, it stays on, but the behavior is different. I'm just going to explain this with the uh, manual. So if you touch one of the <clears throat> middle pads here, you get a kind of strumming sound. And this you will see. So you see it has a scale built in, but as soon as you start touching the inner pads, the scale is essentially abandoned. So let's take this one. And if I hold it down, it sounds sort of like a um, uh, one of those uh, guitar string simulator or stimulators. change the pitch by touching the inner pad. So now this pitch will be held unless I turn it off and back on. back to the original pitch. pads can do the same thing. So you can wind up setting any number of pitches here. So. slide until you get a random pitch.
you set it up as long as you don't turn the power off. much like on the other Tocantes by Now notice I'm holding it on with this finger over here. I have this nice kind of drony sound here. If I let go of this and back on back to the default. So I think it uh, harkens back to the Tetrazi with the red random pitch buttons and that as you slide this in here, you don't really know what you're going to get. And once you get that, as long as you keep it on, it's going to hold. tricks is to avoid hitting the inner pad accidentally because then you'll you'll change it out like that. So it definitely takes a different playing style than the other Tocantes and it's uh, to use all of your fingers on this. technique for this.